As I mentioned earlier, the City Commission is just hours away from making the first formal decision in bringing a 24-hour homeless shelter to Key West. Now, if approved, this would do away with the present Key's overnight temporary shelter. It's argued that bringing a 24-hour shelter to the Keys would help reduce the homeless population by presenting mentoring and training programs. Mayor Cates, thank you for being with me on the show today. Thank, thank you for having me. Well, it's great having you here, Mayor Cates, and I know that this is something you have been pushing since you got into office. Yes, back in 09 when I was elected, I ran on uh, dealing with the homeless issues, and uh, I started a, a uh, homeless committee, Mayor's Homeless Committee, right after I was elected, and we met for about six or seven months, and then this is one of the ideas that came out of that, along with the mobile outreach uh, van that's been going around town and that's really helped and this is the next step in, in uh, helping the homeless. Okay, why do you think it's so important to push this, Mayor Kate? Well, what we have, and you mentioned it earlier, the temporary shelter and it was only temporary. Uh, we need a permanent shelter and what we also need counseling to take the, the homeless, the ones that want help, to put them back in the mainstream, get them their own house and get them jobs and this will be the the facility that will help us do that. Okay, so you're not going to just offer a place for them to lay their heads at night. You want to offer these mentoring and training programs. Explain the programs a little well, bit. Well, the, the programs will be counseling, drug addiction, help them with their addictions because a lot of people in the homeless have addictions and they can't have a reg hold down a regular job. That's why they end up out there. But then they're only on the streets and they have no opportunities to, to improve themselves. This will give them an opportunity, so we'll have counseling there. We'll make sure that they have identification, help them get that. They've, a lot of them could get uh, help from Social Security, Medicare and all, but they have no identification, so they can't get it. We'll have the facilities there to help them get that. Okay. What all would this facility look like, Mayor Kate? Well, what we have there now is a building that was uh, the Easter Seals uh, facility, and they moved to another location uh, about two years ago, a year and a half ago. And what I want to do is take that facility, make that into the office space, uh, uh, space where we, they can eat meals, meet, uh, have uh, washing facilities there. And also in the back we'll build barracks, is sort of basic open air. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be like a real fancy place to stay, but it's the basic necessities of survival. They'll have a place to stay. And then we hope to have a better facility as they improve and and get in the right direction mm -hmm. to stay there and before they move back into their own facility. Mm -hmm. So you do believe that this really would reduce the homeless population that we have here in the Keys? Absolutely. We've, uh, in the last two years, we've passed a lot of ordinances. Uh, we've cleaned up several ordinances and passed a couple ordinances that made it stricter on the homeless. Mm -hmm. All right, no panhandling and all. And the ones that have, I feel and the commission feels have been causing problems, they don't want help we have stricter ordinances for, and this is for the ones that want help, mm -hmm. and to try to get them back in the mainstream. A lot of people are just a couple of paychecks away from being homeless themselves, right. and not all uh, bad people, and not all alcoholics and, and drunks, although some have some issues, but mm -hmm. as our society, we need to help the less fortunate. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, a lot of them do want to make that change, too. They just need to be given the opportunity to do that. Absolutely. What is the cost involved in this? Well, we haven't come up with an exact figure yet. What we're, this resolution that I'm asking to be passed tonight is to officially say that we want a 24-hour homeless shelter and we'll go out and design the, the facility, get uh, co uh, consulting probably from a uh, uh, consultant on the, that helps put homeless uh, centers together and come back with a cost to build and operate. That way we can go out for funding. We hope the county and mm -hmm. the county should put in some money to help this because it's a county issue, not only a city issue. Right. And it also the police, the sheriff's department, we hope that they will put in because it costs almost a hundred dollars, ninety some dollars a night to, mm -hmm. to put a person in jail. We could have them in a facility like this, they're not under arrest. Basically they were sleeping on the street or uh, somewhere, that's why they're arrested. They could go here and they could stay for expense we expected maybe between the teens and $20 a night to mm -hmm. house people. Wow. And now if this does get approved, because again, it has to get approved first before it can go into place, how long do you think it would take, Mayor Gates? It'd probably take about 
six months, I would imagine, to put the facility together because the main building's already there and is in good shape. The rest would be like uh, uh, we build a couple of uh, Quonset huts or, or open air with a, to have panels to come down in bad weather mm -hmm. so they could sleep in, some restrooms mm -hmm. and showers, men and women's, and then we'll have an area where they could stay in the daytime outside a covered area while they're getting the counseling. And another big key to this, uh, important part of this is that you know, the, a lot of these people want a job, mm -hmm. but when they have to leave that homeless cots, uh, which is a temporary shelter, in the morning at 7 o'clock, they have to take everything they own on their back. Right. All right, so when they're going out looking for a job, trying to find a job with everything on their back, and then they got to go somewhere else to try to find dinner for that night, which mm -hmm. is over there on Flagler. We want to move that, the soup kitchen, also out to the same facility. So they, this will be the draw is to bring them there, and then we can help them. So it's difficult to find a job when you have everything on your back. Oh, absolutely. And now, Mayor Cates, I just talked with Sheil earlier, the photographer of Hidden in Plain View. So I want to ask you real quick before we go, what you personally thought of that exhibit at the studios of Key West. I thought it was tremendous because uh, well, actually I've been involved with the homeless for uh, several years now with uh, what I've been trying to do. But to see uh, the, the exhibit that they put together and that the citizens come in and see and were so emotional when they were trying to realize that these are, are regular people mm -hmm. in a situation that they don't want to be in because mm -hmm. they get the stigma of they all want to be like that and they're living off of somebody else. Right. That's not the case. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just survival. That's not living. Mm -hmm. These people want to change. They just want right. the opportunity to do that. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for being on the show this morning. If people want more information, you can send Mayor Cates an email address at the email address you see below or give them a, num uh, give them a call on the phone number you see. Yeah. Again, thank you for being on. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages.